Welcome to the Prophecy Club, where we study and research Bible prophecy. Our topic tonight is the top 13 Illuminati bloodlines. As prophecy students, we have all heard people say, well, they want to bring in a new world order. They want world government. They want world religion. They want the mark of the beast. Well, who is the they? Our speaker tonight is going to answer that question. Who is the they? Not only that, but their plans and how they plan to bring us into this global satanic conspiracy government, economy, and religion. Our speaker has, for the last six years, deprogrammed people from different mind control, top Illuminati people that were wanting to get out of it. He has deprogrammed, de debriefed, I should say, debriefed over uh, 24 different people. He's author of the top 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati, and also this book, The Illuminati Formula Used to Create an Undetectable, Total Controlled, Mind Controlled Slave, and 13 other books. Will you help me welcome Fritz Springmeyer. Before I get started with my talk, I <clears throat> have a few words to say. First, it's a great pleasure and a great privilege to be here with you. It's very important that you feel a part of what I've got to say tonight, because what I've got to say tonight is going to affect your life and your children's lives and the lives of future generations if there are any. I'm not trying to frighten anyone, but I do need to tell us about the situation, the dangerous situation, that we are in today. Ladies and gentlemen, like you were told, I have co-authored with Cisco Wheeler two books on uh, the New World Order's mind control. And this small version here has a Japanese translation to it. <clears throat> Many of us Christians are not afraid to be thrown into prison because we realize that we are free in Christ no matter where we are. And they are the slaves. No matter where they are because they're slaves to sin. However, with today's sophisticated mind control technology, they have the ability to strip us of our own thoughts. We can no longer depend upon having a situation where our mind and our thoughts are our own. Now, <clears throat> I didn't write this book for myself, but I wrote this book, which uh, it, for sure, is volume two. I wrote this book for the church so that they could come to the fullness and measure and stature of Christ and also for humanity. We're rapidly approaching a point in time where everybody who thinks is only going to be thinking what they are programmed. Now, you can uh, stay in denial and turn your back on humanity, or you can read this book and then pass this information on to others. I want to get the word out, but I can't do it all by myself. I need your help. Getting this volume two book won't just help me, won't just help Prophecy Club, but will help humanity in general. And even the children can help. They can pray for those of us that are trying to get the message out. Now, I also need to warn you <clears throat> that this talk is not going to be politically correct. <laughs> but as a Christian in a nation where it's politically correct for 330 congressmen to write 20,000 bad checks over a period of three years, and as a Christian in a nation where it's politically correct for groups like Planned Parenthood to sue a high school in Florida, which is trying to teach abstinence in sex to its unmarried 
high schoolers. While on the other side of the nation, in L.A., you have a school district which is beginning to think that there might be some relationship between their free condom program and their sex education class and the high rate of teenage pregnancy. So they do the politically correct thing. They offer a class in creative masturbation. As a Christian in a nation like this, I enjoy being politically correct just a notch below AIDS. Je uh, Admiral Stanfield Turner, in August of 1977, before a Senate committee, uh, revealed to this committee that, yes, the CIA was doing mind control on countless numbers of Americans, who were, uh, and this was being done without their consent, and he even told some of the methods that they use, hypnosis, electroshock, drugs, this is a newspaper article from the time period, and here you see listed one of their programmers. Hey, Smack, what are your four answers? Yes, sir, no, sir, no excuse, sir. Sir, I do not understand. I entered West Point on July 3rd, 1973, and uh, was the first two months there are called beast barracks. That's where they tear you down and they build you into the soldier that they want you to be. Now, I knew there was something wrong about West Point, but it's taken me years to really get the full picture. But between my first and my second year, I went over to the Holy Lands, and it was right after the Yom Kippur War. And they had just won a tremendous victory, but they had won nothing. And for me, as a Christian, it really showed how ludicrous it was, how insane it was for us to fight these wars for the politicians. And it especially drove home the point that there are lots of men that will fight for the system, but there are only a few men that are willing to fight with that dedication in the Lord's Army. So I took the lesson that I had learned at West Point, and that one lesson was obedience, and I decided to apply that to my Christian life. When somebody asked me to do something, when they gave me an order at West Point, I didn't ask, am I going to do this? But I, I simply responded, how am I going to do this? And so in my second year, I resigned from West Point with only one goal in my life, that was to serve Christ without reservation. Whatever your will is, Lord, I want to obey you like I have been taught to obey the army. And so it didn't matter what the Lord was going to tell me, how silly or how ridiculous it might be, I was going to do that. So when we start looking for the Lord, where do we go? <clears throat> well, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning was a symbol, and the symbol was with God, and the symbol was God. Symbols are very important. We use them to organize, to design, to communicate 